Okay, so today we're gonna do some traditional New England fare. I'm talking steam mussels, <laughs> clams casino, oh, this New England boiled dinner, oh, and some kicked up baked stuff shrimp. But first, we're gonna start with doing a little drawn butter. Oh, yeah, babe. You can put this stuff on your shoe and eat it. We got some sweet corn and some of those red bliss potatoes boiled tender. Oh, and the best part, when we come back, that's right, boys, you're going in. Stick around. Boy, there's some good-looking crustaceans. We're gonna get some good eating out of them. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, no. Uh-uh, you can't boil these. These are professional lobsters. Lobster Wrangler! What do you mean, professionals? They do all the Food Channel shows. They're supposed to be on the Love and Oven at 2 o'clock. <laughs> the car's here. Then what am I supposed to cook? These oh. guys are right here. <laughs> this one's Sparky, and this one's Mr. Snapper. What did I tell you about naming the food? Don't name the food. I hate that. Okay, we're back in five, four, three, two. <laughs> Going in. <laughs> All right. Bring me out some clams, and this time, no names. <laughs> cover for me tonight i've got to leave early i've got that big date well i want to leave early too because i got tickets to the dream girls revival don't forget we're supposed to stay late for the budget meeting tonight yeah. oh no 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 listen to me i'm not like the two of you okay i'm a single mother my life has to be perfectly synchronized tonight i have an incredible babysitter i have a date with an intelligent muscular architect every single inch of me has been toned waxed and oiled I can't reschedule for next week. Sitters take other jobs. Stuff grows back. Hey, guys. Have you seen Nora yet? No, why? Is she coming by? Yeah, she's getting her antique business started again, and uh, she was going to introduce me to her new partner. Hey, Em, last chance before I head off to the casino. No, I don't want to spend my weekend playing bingo. Bingo? Buddy, we're talking about hardcore gambling here. Anyway, spending time at an Indian gaming resort is a wonderful way to learn more about your Native American brothers and sisters and their heritage. Oh, you're just gonna go shoot craps and sit in a hot tub in your room, and you know it. I believe you're referring to the Sitting Bull complimentary high roller suite. You know what, Jerry? You sure do gamble a lot. Maybe you should think about seeking professional help like Gamblers Anonymous. Oh, please. Why does everything have to be a disease these days? If there's anything pleasurable left in the world, someone decides it's a sickness, and we all have to gather in the basement of a church and hold hands together. Hello, everybody. Hey, Nora. Hey, Nora. Hey, honey. The snow is really coming down out Boy. there. I stopped at the toy store, did a little early Christmas shopping. Can we hide this in your office? Oh, sure, babe. Because we cannot hide it at home. Hey, you know our kids? They're like pigs sniffing truffles. <laughs> Is that for Halo? No, that's for Charlie. He's following in his father's footsteps. Yeah, I was seven years old when I got my first oven. I was so happy. The only problem was with the name. Oh, what was the name, baby? Susie Homemaker. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really wish I hadn't heard that story. <laughs> oh, hey, you guys, I want you to meet my new partner. Gary, come here. Everybody, this is Gary. He owns the Antiquarian Trader, you know, on Park and 57th. Hi. And uh, I'm going to be buying antiques for him. Oh. How do you do? Pleasure meeting all of you. I'm an enormous fan of the show. Oh, we just spent the entire afternoon going through consignment stores. Oh, we found some beautiful pieces. Your wife's got a great eye. Yeah, actually, I like all of her. <laughs> well, we're off to look for fabrics. Boy, it's really coming down out there. The city is truly magical when it snows, don't you think? Yeah, magical. <laughs> all right, I'll call you later, baby. Okay. Bye. All right, be careful. Bye, everybody. Aww. Nice meeting all of you. Nice meeting you. Bye. Oh, well, it sure looks like Nora got something nice to spend her evening with. Well, what does that mean? It means is he's single. Well, sure he's single. He said magical, didn't he? <laughs> Thanks, gay. Why do guys think all sensitive, good-looking, well-dressed men are gay? In this case, honey, I'm pretty sure he's gay. <laughs> Whatever gets you through the day. Well, what does that mean? 
He wasn't looking at Nora like he was gay. Oh, forget it, Ev. You don't have a thing to worry about. I saw old Gary checking me out pretty good. My lips, my hair, my legs. You know what that means. No, I don't. He's gay. <laughs> gay men love me. I'm like a gay magnet. I go to the clubs, surrounded by gay men. Gay, gay, gay. Well, I don't care if he's gay or straight. The two of them have been working like dogs getting that business together. They're always on the phone or having lunch. I mean, they're going on these buying trips out in the country, staying at these little inns together. Uh-oh. <laughs> Red light. Flag on the play, buddy. You know, maybe he's not gay. Maybe he's just sneaky. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the oldest trick in the book. You pretend to be somebody's girlfriend so he can become her boyfriend. I, I even did it myself once. Yeah, I, uh, I tried to impress my date by sitting through a reading of those vagina monologues. You know, by that maid who used to be on the Jeffersons. <laughs> so we can get a little action afterwards. I was lucky to get out of there alive. The guy's gay. There are guys who are gay in every way except one. They have sex with women. Listen, you're way out in left field on this one. They're just friends. He even bought her a pair of pantyhose when she needed them. This is important, Em. Think hard. Were they control top or fishnet? <laughs>
You got a little problem with that, too, don't you? you yes, I do. I have a problem. I bathe twice a day, okay? Maybe I need to join a support group for men who abuse Life Boy soap. <laughs> well, don't worry. Nurse Mirabelle's gonna be back here in a second. I'm sure she'll be happy to give you a little sponge bath. Hey, you need to keep her away from me because I'm pretty sure she's, you know, insane. Buddy, this is not our biggest problem. My wife's home having her feet squeezed by somebody she thinks is her girlfriend. I mean, I just got to get there to warn her before he starts working his way up north. Maybe the buses will start running soon. You know, I thought I heard a bus a minute ago. Yeah, we can take the bus out of here. Emerald, did you hear that? What? The buses are running. We can get on a bus now. What the heck is wrong with you people? You started that rumor yourselves. No, I just think we're all getting a little crabby. Come on, y'all need to come outside with me and finish the snowman. Oh, no, we're not going outside building a snowman. Saving all my strength in case there's a break of the weather, I'm gonna make just one last try for the pole. When Jack Tripper and Mr. Furley got locked in the Regal Beagle overnight, they said a lot of personal things to one another. They really got to know each other, and the show was a lot richer for it. You know what your girl's problem is? You have no edit button. <laughs> Let me introduce you to a new concept. It's called the unspoken thought. You know what I was thinking about? Hmm. That Donner party that got trapped in the snow on their way to California. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to eat your fellow travelers, but what I can't believe is that they admitted it afterwards. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I stumbled out of the wilderness, I would have just said, hey, I had some nuts and berries. I'm sure the other's gonna be along soon. You wouldn't even make it out of there, Melva, because if anybody looks like good eating around here, you know who it is. Ew, did you hear that? I found that extremely offensive. Well, she'd be too tough, and you wouldn't even be a snack. Hey, 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 I'm tired of hearing this stuff already, okay? I mean, I'm the chef around here. And I could tell you who would be the best eaten. <laughs> Keeping it to myself. Anyway, this is a cooking show. The one thing that we have is plenty of food. Well, why is our food all locked up? People were stealing it. Well, why don't you have the key? Because I was one of the suspects. <laughs> What are you doing now? Hey, I've got to bathe, okay? It'd be quicker if I took a spit bath. I don't know why you're standing here. I do most of my bathing at home. I don't think I'm gonna make it, buddy. I mean, I go crazy if I can't wash up. Why don't you use some of those moist towelettes you carry around? Are you nuts? Those are baby wipes. They can't clean an entire man. Hey, 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 this is a men's room, do you mind? What's going on? You've been in here a long time. Uh, he's just taking a little bath, okay? And he goes crazy if he can't get clean. <laughs> well, I'm a nurse. My orders are to assist all stranded personnel, and if that includes helping to give a bath, then so be it. Hey, I'm uh, just gonna go back down to my office. Pretty sure this is something I don't wanna watch. Hey, Em. Hey, hey, Em. Em! Stay back. Don't make a move, all right? There's nothing here I haven't seen before. Yeah, well, there's nothing you're going to see here now, either. <laughs> Mayday! Man down in the restroom! Mayday! <laughs> Heat's out now. Come on, move your gingerbread man. It's your turn. You can't enter the peppermint forest until you ante up. Either throw down or blow town. <laughs> I hate it when you try to talk cool, Cracker. Well, how much is in the pot now? $26.19. You know, you'd be laughed out of the sitting bull suite for that amount. Don't you people have any money? And will you stop playing with the doll? Look, we said everybody gets half an hour. Now, you were here when we made the rules. It's my turn to dress her, and I want to put her in the bride's dress now. No, it's not your turn. She has five more minutes in the polo outfit. I hate that outfit. She needs to get off that horse and get married. Can we please play Candyland? Anyway, if you're gonna put her in something, put her in the hot pants and the blue jean halter top and the black patent leather thigh-high boots. Any idiot knows that. <laughs> Do you people start bickering about that silly game and what you're gonna dress that dumb doll in? I mean, I'm trying to cook or something here in my Easy Bake Oven. Yeah, well, when's the cake gonna be done? We are hungry. Very hungry. Hey, I'm working with a 75-watt bulb here. <laughs> Keep your pants on. 
Especially you, bath boy. Oh, yeah. By the way, thanks a lot for helping me out in there. Hey, when I see love about to bloom, I'm out of the men's room. I can't believe y'all aren't out here, you snow poopers. Well, look who picked the Princess Lolly card again. And in Candyland, she the man. <laughs> that means I can go all the way along the lollipop woods, all the way to the Candy Castle. Oh, no, no, no. You can't go backwards over the Rainbow Trail. Rainbow Trail only goes one way, pal. Hey, what are you trying to pull here? Wait a second. I have played baccarat and roulette in some of the finest casinos around the world, and not once have I been accused of going the wrong way on the Rainbow Trail oh, until yeah? I got involved with you two and in this Candyland scam. Oh, yeah, well, you should have dragged your ass through the molasses swamp when you cheated your way into Grandma's nut house, and you know you did because you cheat. You cheat, you cheat, you cheat. Will you people knock it off? Look at that. You made my little cakes fall. <laughs> now I can't guarantee the quality. <laughs> What's she doing? Oh, no. She was licking the frost, now she's stuck. <laughs> what the hell is she doing licking frost? <laughs> oh, man. The door's frozen shut. <laughs> Why'd you put your tongue on that window anyway? Because it looked frosty and delicious. <laughs> this is so pathetic. Right now I should be snuggled in this beautiful four-poster bed admiring the wood. Instead, I'm huddled around a 75-watt bulb watching the hair grow back on my legs. It's cold in here. What's that doll doing over there sitting naked? Because <laughs> it was Jerry's turn to dress her and that's how he wanted her. <laughs> hey, buddy, that's really sad. I'm already gambling for nickels, all right? Why not have a date with a naked doll? Besides, I feel much better now that I've had a real bath. How'd you get a bath? Oh, I, I used one of those big pots in the soup kitchen. You went into the kitchen and got naked and plop your big old butt in a pot that I cook in? I didn't really get in, Emerald. I just sponged. Mr. McKinney? <clears throat> I'm sorry to say that one of the security guards and I caught you on the surveillance camera taking a bath in the soup kitchen. <clears throat> in flagrant violation of every health department code I can imagine. If this happens again, I'll have to show this tape to the proper authorities. Oh. My father's one at my apartment now for safekeeping. It's ringing. I'm finally getting through. Now there's no answer. I don't know. God knows what that Dr. Scholes is flexing now. We gotta get out of here. How are we gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna tell you. You know when you're watching a movie and people are stuck in a snowy cabin and some psycho is menacing them and they say, what are we gonna do? And you're in the audience saying, morons, walk out. Well, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to my house. It's only 23 blocks. All right, we'll wrap up in some of these big old tablecloths, okay? Okay, but you know I can't walk on the ice. That's how I broke my ankle the last time. So I'm gonna get on the trash can lid and you guys will pull me. <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna have any fun tonight. <laughs> shoes. I can't believe that you've managed to put your body in half the pans that I own. Where's Melva? Oh, uh, her trash can lid fell apart, but she insisted we go on without her. It was very moving. I think you broke all land speed records for a guy walking in loaf pants. You should call the Olympic Committee and have him make it an event. You could go for the gold. Yeah, you'd go for the gold, too, if you had behind you what I had behind me. I am breathless and spent. Oh. You wore me out, you little devil. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Pete? What'd you go and leave me for? Because you said leave me behind. No, I said kiss my behind. <laughs> when you ran me into the light bulbs for the third time. <laughs> Emerald, how'd you 
couldn't get through. We were sure you were going to be gone for the whole evening. Well, surprise. We've made it. I see you've come prepared. Oh, I uh, always keep a getaway bag in the car. That's your getaway outfit? <laughs> Just jammies. Oh, come on, sit down. Let me rub your hands. No, no. I want to tell you about your girlfriend. You know who your girlfriend is? I'm your girlfriend. Because I walked 23 blocks to warn you about him. Warn her about what? Hey, just because you know a lot about old furniture and some of them fabric swatches, I know what you're up to. Do you know what he's talking about? Yes, my sweet husband just hiked a mile and a half in the blizzard to save me from a gay man. Thank you very much. 20 bucks. You're gay? That's what they tell me. Honey, were you really worried? No. I mean, well, I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, that's right. And you walked all this way to warn me? Mm -hmm. oh, that is the nicest compliment any mother of three could ever have. Hey, pal, I made these little cakes today. <laughs> this is the only one that made it out. I want you to have it. Thanks. I'll treasure this. Gary, will you excuse us? Guys, help yourselves to whatever you want. I'm taking Susie Homemaker up to bed. <laughs> Good night. So what are we gonna do now? I don't know about you guys, but I'm playing Candyland! <laughs> yeah, now we're nickel and dime stuff. We're talking $20 minimum, Vegas style, and Lord Licorice is wild. Yes, sir. I like your style. Can I sit next to you? Absolutely. You sit next to Mama. Come on, pay the magnet. Let's go.